In the last 10 months, I partnered on a new e-commerce brand and scaled it to $3 million in sales with a 24% profit margin. I know that that may sound too good to be true, so don't worry. I'm gonna jump into the analytics, show you guys the exact profits made, and also go over how it was all done. So with that said, let's jump right into it. Just so you guys have more context, before partnering with this brand, there was not much established for it. Uh, it was just an individual product that was doing a few hundred dollars in sales per day through different affiliate networks. Now, you can see here, we got started in May, but things didn't really kick off until June. And up to date, we've done $3.3 million in sales. Uh, this is not a screenshot. I'll refresh here so you guys can see. This is a live store, right? And while we're here, uh, there's a couple things I want to point out. First is, you can see here that almost half of our sales came from subscriptions. In our day and age, it is very hard to build a long-term sustainable business without having any reoccurring revenue. And I'm actually gonna talk more about this later, but um, just wanted to make sure I kind of point that out while we were here. Now, next you can see Amazon contributed to our sales as well. Um, previously, I was not a big fan of Amazon, because uh, of course they keep all the customer data and that's obviously super valuable. But after being on Amazon and seeing like what's possible, I'm a huge advocate for all brands to actually be on Amazon and actually capture traffic from, you know, people that may have not otherwise bought from you, right? Because there are some people that just like buying from Amazon. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to point out. Next, you can see our conversion rate. So we're currently sitting at a 1.78 conversion rate. This is something that we're constantly uh, working on, but uh, that's where we are right now. Uh, here you can see our average order value is currently at $38. Uh, this is something that, again, we also wanna improve by adding in additional upsells, cross-sells, and also expanding our product line. Um, here you can see we have a pretty decent returning customer rate. Uh, currently at 22%. Of course, like I said, it's very important to be able to generate additional revenue from existing customers, whether it's subscriptions or just getting them to buy more of uh, the products that you already have. So um, obviously these are just the analytics for the store. Um, don't worry, I'm also gonna jump into Triple Whale uh, to show you guys the exact profit on everything. But first, I wanna dive into some of the main components that made this possible. So this all started with a good friend of mine introducing me to the owner of the product. Again, like I mentioned, they were only doing a few hundred dollars in sales per day through different affiliate networks. Now, this product is in the biohacking niche, and that's a space that has completely blown up over the last two years. Really, this product had everything going for it, in my opinion. It had a trademark, which obviously makes it unique compared to other products in the space. It had solid suppliers and also a backend infrastructure. So basically all the fulfillment was already figured out. It was already in place and they could very easily handle more volume and more sales. And really the only thing that was missing was a direct to consumer approach. And so I personally saw the potential uh, I then started to do my my own research looking into you know what other brands in the space were doing what kind of traffic were they getting roughly what they were doing in sales and I knew we could take this brand to six and even seven figures in sales per month now like I said there was no existing brand or website and so we basically had to build everything from the ground up and so the very first thing that we started with was actually establishing the brand and what I mean by that is doing things like creating the brand identity, identifying the target audience, outlining the unique selling propositions, updating the logo. They previously had a, a, a old looking logo and obviously in our day and age, a lot of brands, they currently have like the nice modern aesthetic and we wanted to make sure we did the same. We had to upgrade the logo. And so those are some of the things that we needed to do before we could even get started. From there, we took all of that and created an actual brand guide for the brand. And that's really where everything else was built off of. So after we had the brand guide created, uh, we brought on a graphic designer to help us uh, actually outline the design for the store. We then brought on content creators to help create content for the website, but also for social media and our organic channels. And then the last piece for that phase was a web developer to come in and actually build out the store that our designer had outlined. Those are the main things that we did initially to kind of get things off the floor, right? And from there, like we were able to kind of get started. So let's dive into the marketing. The very first thing I did was dive into the space and get familiar with what the current brands were doing and what they weren't doing. And while I was doing that, I actually realized how 
a lot of them were not on TikTok. They were not leveraging the platform. They weren't on TikTok shop. And that's really where we saw opportunity. Uh, as you guys know, TikTok now has 1.7 billion active users, and it has really become the holy grail of organic reach. You can get the reach you can get on TikTok, on Facebook, Instagram, maybe YouTube, but it still doesn't compare. And so realizing the potential that there is on TikTok, we decided to make TikTok the focal point of our organic marketing strategy. Something else that has really contributed to the success that we've had so far is the actual offers that we have in place. So before getting started, the product was only being offered as an individual unit, a two pack and a three pack. And so one of the things that we did is we worked with a supplier to put together this uh, sample pack, which we would call a free trial, where somebody could come in and try out the product with a week's worth of supply. And if they were happy, they would automatically be added to a subscription at the end of that week. And they would receive then the full size version of the product. And they would continue to receive the product every single month as long as they were happy with the product and wanted to keep taking it. And so that allowed us to have a significant breakthrough, right? Because before customers had no option but to just buy the actual individual product itself, full price or the two pack or the three pack. We made it easier to customers to be able to try the product. And we knew that this was worth trying because again, it's a good product that actually works. And so it was worth a shot. And this was a huge contributor because as you guys saw, in the numbers previously shown, 30 to 40% of our monthly revenue and our monthly sales is coming from reoccurring revenue up to date. And that's absolutely massive. Like I said, it's very essential to continue to have reoccurring revenue to build any sustainable long-term business. So now that we've covered the product, the marketing, and the offer, let's dive in and cover the exact profits made. So here we are inside of Triple Whale. For those of you guys that don't know what Triple Whale is, it's a third party attribution platform. Some of you guys may know that after iOS 14, basically all ad platforms struggle to get the full performance of your ads. And so basically Triple Whale helps with that. It allows you to really get additional tracking uh, on your ads and see the true performance. And so inside of Triple Whale, you can actually add in your costs. And so what we do is we add in our cost of goods sold, we add in our shipping costs, transaction costs, uh, handling costs, all the costs that we have uh, inside of Triple Oil so that on a daily basis, we can very easily track all the profit. Now, as you guys can see here, basically up to date, we have spent $1.9 million. From that $1.9 million in spend, we have generated $3.3 million in sales and we have made a total of $788,000 in profit. Now, it is not typical for a new brand to come in and in the very first year be making this kind of profit. Most brands, in my experience, are not profitable within the first one to two years. So I do have to give credit where it's due. I will say that the reason why this was possible was one, the product itself. It's a really good product that people actually like. Nothing else that was done would have mattered as much if it wasn't for the product itself. Coming in, obviously, like I mentioned, there wasn't much going on. The product was being sold individually and there wasn't you know, much more happening besides the daily sales they were getting through these affiliate channels. And so adding in a good product with a strong organic marketing strategy plus paid ads is what really allowed us to be able to take this brand and really scale it to where it is today. And really, uh, I tried to cover as much as I could in this video. There were obviously other challenges that we've had with the brand, but I tried to basically cover as much as I could and highlight how this was possible. Overall, I will say that the four main things that contributed to the results that we have so far is, like I mentioned, a good product, right? Nothing can replace a good product. Establishing the brand, the offer, that obviously helped us with the reoccurring revenue, which was massive, and having a strong organic and paid ad strategy. Those are the main things that kind of went into you know, building the brand into where it is today. And so, yeah, I'm gonna continue to sharing content like this for you guys, sharing what's working with this brand that you guys can hopefully uh, also leverage for yourselves if you have an active brand or if you're thinking about starting a brand. And yeah, hopefully it's helpful, right? If you guys got any value from this video, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel. With that being said, we'll wrap up there. See you guys in the next video.